take the Yes, you can take pictures. So family, this is WE the Voice Memorial. I go. Okay, so we have the very side and the final resting place of Dr. The Voice. We have him right here. In this box, that's the ashes of the second wife, Mrs. Shirley Graham. When she left Ghana, she went to France, Tanzania, Germany, back to Ghana when Nkrumah died. Then she went to Egypt, was diagnosed with breast cancer, went to China for treatment and never returned. She died in China. But before her death, she made a request that she wanted her body or ashes to be brought back to Ghana. Because when they came to Ghana, they obtained Ghanaian citizenship. So they were Ghanaians when they died. She wanted to be buried home and next to their husband, so we have it right here. The camps and the flags we have here are the schools they attended and the schools he taught. His fraternity Alpha Phi Alpha. We have pictures of state burials given to him two days after his death. Now please lift your head. The roof, what does it tell? The spider web. The spider web. So we say Dr. Du Bois to be just like a spider. Because it's a spider that built a web. It's built a web to live it, to protect itself. Dr. Du Bois was connecting the world to fight for our rights, for us to have a peaceful place to live. Sometimes you might see the web, but you won't see the spider. But it tells you there was a spider here. Yeah. Just like Dr. Du Bois, anywhere he goes, anywhere he pays a visit, he will make sure to leave a trace, a legacy, something for remembrance. We don't only celebrate him here in Ghana, but other countries do celebrate him as well. His final message to you today is to tell you, even though your initials doesn't state like a web, you can still be a spider. Not the bad ones that when people see you, they'll run. But the good ones that even when they hear of you, they'll get closer. Even if you can't start at large. Start help by creating a peaceful home and a peaceful country for the younger ones who are coming to have a peaceful place to live. Not to forget to leave a legacy. Because something small, a start at least can gain the younger ones a brighter future. Any new questions? Okay, so I just gave you this booklet. That's the new plan we have for the museum. They're trying to build something big and something large. So please, donations are acceptable. We also accept donations which helps the center before the new one is being built. We have t-shirts, some history books, and marks of Dr. Du Bois. So in case you want to purchase anything, you can go upstairs. But if not, our tour ends here. Thanks for coming, and it's our great pleasure having you here today. Oh, yeah. Very good. Thank you. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent. You can take us you know, to the front so you can take a look at those books. Books, okay. And then. Yes. 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 Don't, don't, don't remind me, I'm, I'm going up there to take care of it. <laughs> and so family, this is a view of the outside of W.E.B. Du Bois Memorial. So that was a great presentation and family, you know, the energy of Pan-Africanism, you know, we have to keep on transforming and growing and building it. So we appreciate our ancestors for putting the work in. Now, you, now we went to a Kwame Nkrumah Memorial Park site went to a George Padmore library and now we're here at W.E.B. Du Bois. So, you know, the journey continues and, uh, you know, we just have to keep on evolving as a people and you know, be and be innovative because as time goes along, 
We have to come up with uh, modern day and innovative methods to keep growing what we call Pan-Africanism and nation building. So the journey continues. Let's keep the energy strong. Okay, we can get into the bus. Huh? We can get into the bus. Yeah, I want.